Asparagus is a versatile and nutritious vegetable that comes in different varieties, each with its unique characteristics. Here's a discussion on different asparagus varieties and how to grow them. 1. Green Varieties Mary Washington Mary Washington is a popular green asparagus variety. It produces thick, medium green spears with a tender and delicious flavor. This variety is known for its high yield and disease resistance. Jersey Giant Jersey Giant is another well-known green asparagus variety. It produces thick, dark green spears with a rich flavor. It is valued for its vigor and productivity, making it a favorite among home gardeners and commercial growers. UC-157 UC-157 is a hybrid green asparagus variety. It produces uniform and medium-sized spears with a mild and delicate flavor. It is known for its disease resistance and ability to adapt to different growing conditions. 2. Purple Varieties Purple Passion Purple Passion is a unique purple asparagus variety. It produces thick, vibrant purple spears with a slightly sweeter and nuttier flavor compared to green asparagus. The color of the spears fades when cooked. Purple Majesty Purple Majesty is another popular purple asparagus variety. It produces medium-sized, dark purple spears with a tender texture and a flavor similar to green asparagus. It retains its purple color when cooked. Growing Asparagus Site Selection Choose a location with full sun exposure, at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight per day, and well-draining soil. Asparagus prefers slightly acidic to neutral soil with a pH of 6.0-7.0. Planting Asparagus is typically grown from crowns or dormant rootstock. Plant crowns in early spring when the soil is workable. Dig trenches that are 6 to 8 inches, 15 to 20 centimeters, deep and space the crowns about 12 to 18 inches, 30 to 45 centimeters, apart in the trench. Cover the crowns with 2 to 3 inches, 5 to 7.5 centimeters, of soil initially and gradually fill in the trench as the spears emerge. Care and Maintenance Keep the asparagus bed free of weeds, as they can compete for nutrients and water. Water the plants regularly, especially during dry spells. Mulching around the asparagus bed helps retain moisture and suppress weeds. Harvesting Asparagus is usually not harvested in the first year to allow the plants to establish their root systems. In the second year, harvest the spears when they reach about 6 to 8 inches, 15 to 20 centimeters, in length. Cut the spears at ground level or slightly below using a sharp knife or scissors. Harvest for a period of 2 to 3 weeks, and then stop to allow the remaining spears to develop into ferns. Fern Growth after the harvest season, allow the remaining spears to grow into fern-like foliage. This foliage is essential for capturing sunlight and storing energy for next year's growth. In late fall, after the foliage turns brown, cut it back to the ground and dispose of any plant debris to reduce the risk of pests and diseases. Pest and Disease Management Common pests that affect asparagus include asparagus beetles and slugs. Monitor the plants regularly and take appropriate measures such as hand-picking or using organic insecticides. Asparagus can be susceptible to diseases like fusarium crown rot and rust. Planting disease-resistant varieties and practicing good sanitation is important for disease management. By following these guidelines and providing proper care, you can successfully grow asparagus in your garden. Remember that asparagus is a perennial crop, and with patience and proper maintenance, it can provide you with a bountiful harvest for many years to come.